Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bales and Wood Conveyor Belt version 1.0. This conveyor is capable of loading almost anything into a tipper or whatever else you want to load it onto. So it's only 4 megabytes and what we're going to do guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over to the shop and check out some of the specs. Then I'm going to test it out on a variety of things here to show you just how it works. So let's get started. Okay guys, just before we get started I'd like to give a huge shout out to Troy Holst. Thank you so much, Troy. Uh, he always sends me different links for different mods, some of which get by me. It's always nice to have a second pair of eyes out there looking for mods, and he actually introduced me to this one, so thank you so much for that. So what we're going to do, guys, is go over some of the features of this conveyor. Now, you actually enter that like you would a vehicle. Uh, like You can actually drive this thing around. It's very, very slow, but you can enter it like a vehicle. You will have to have your auto ignition turned off so it doesn't start by itself because you're going to be you're going to have to have this thing running while you're not in it so yeah have that uh set to off that's the only way you're going to get the conveyor to work while you're on the outside of it so like i said you can uh pretty much drive this thing around i think the speed is five kilometers an hour but it does have a couple of different functions here i'm going to bring up my toolbar so yeah you hook it to a tractor or whatever and you can haul it around by that hitch there. If you press the X button, you can retract that. Now the rest of it is all with your mouse control. So basically, if you hold in your left mouse button, go up and down, you can extend that to reach the bigger size tippers and stuff. If you hold in the left mouse button and go side to side, you can go up and down. And another cool feature with this is if you hold in the right mouse button and go up and down you can move those supports down then if you go side to side you can actually give that even a little bit more height way up there so it'll each it'll reach uh, easily now so that's really cool I really like that great little feature to have okay so I do believe that's about it press the B button to get it started like I said make sure that uh, your auto start is off that way it'll keep running when you get out of it. And we're going to try to throw some logs in here. So let me clear my HUD there. So it's a lot easier to see. There's no reticle on the screen right now because I have my uh, fly mod on. But you can still pick up the logs. So what I do is pick them up long ways if you're going to be hand bombing them on there. And just give it a throw. And my tipper's not up there. Oh, hurry up. Oh, yeah. Come on, will I get there in time? Do, do, do. Just barely. I'm nice and crooked, but it should go in there. You better go in there. Ugh. Yeah, that was close. Okay, just let me straighten this out a little bit, guys. I forgot I, had to I was moving this guy around. Showing you how it... Uh, some, showing you some of the functions. So before I get too far ahead of myself, let's go over the shop and take a look where that is. It's going to be under your belt systems. There it is over at the end. It can load all these different materials here, guys. I got a multitude of different things I'm going to be testing out, but I won't be testing out all of these, obviously. But uh, like I said, it's $7,000 in the shop with the $5 a day maintenance fee, 5 kilometer an hour speed. And I do believe that's about it. So let's test it out some more. Get rid of my speed here, and we'll throw a couple more logs in there. If you pick it up the other way, you're going to throw it sideways, and you might have a little problem getting it on there, because it's not that wide up, as you can see. Probably can throw it down in that shovel part on the end. That's great for grains and stuff, but... Oh, by the way, before I forget... It's multicolor, and you can take it from standard, or you can take it rolling safety. So if you put round bales on there and stuff, they're still going to kind of roll back, but they're not going to roll all the way down, and uh, that really helps. But when you're working with round things, putting it on here, it, he even said on the website, it's going to take a little practice to get used to. So just be patient, and you will get used to it. And you can use this for a multitude of things. Oh, I didn't mean to get inside there. Okay, we'll try a few more of these. It's probably going to land right like that, yeah. 
Hey, whatever works. Okay, let's grab another. Try one more here. You guys get the idea how it works. Of course, you can use a machine to do this instead. But I figured this would probably just be a little easier to demonstrate. So there you go. Okay, we wanted you. So, I mean, you can put the whole pallet on there. Or, oh, don't you slide off. You can just hang this over the side and put the product. It'll dump out of the bottom. That's for your seed and powder fertilizer and stuff. Right like that. Look at that. Beautiful. And you can see it's going right on inside the tip of there. Pretty neat. I like that. So we'll try another one. I don't know if it's going to take this because... Is that the same one? If I start mixing it up, it may not go in. Just like uh, anything else. much inside that guy was it? Might be up too high. That's what it was. Take a little while to fill up that tipper. That's a 200,000 liter tipper. So it's only going to look like a drop inside of it. Um, I will try this bigger pallet here, but some of the bigger pallets are going to be a little tricky getting on there. This is liquid fertilizer, so I doubt you can dump that right onto it, but we'll certainly try that before we just try ditching the whole thing. Might have a little bit of problem because, I mean, the pallets, the conveyor is almost just as wide as the pallet, so it might be a little... Oh, yeah. It's working, but now it's probably going to fall on the ground, is it? Let's get a look at this. Yep. Yeah, that was my fault. Look, it's tipping over because <laughs> of the weight on it. Oh, well. You guys get the idea. Yeah, you gotta watch you don't nudge them out of the way because you'll lose your alignment pretty fast. I'm just gonna push that guy out of the way. Okay, let's try this out. I'm kind of curious about the powder fertilizer now. Like, will it go up or will it not take it because there's already seed inside the inside the tipper? So what I'll do is get off of it here, and then I'll try to push it back. Let's see how that works out. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty neat, man. Like that. Okay, one more. Yeah, yeah, I'm just kind of curious how this will work. Will it put the two of them in there, or will it deny it because it's powder fertilizer? Regardless, it'll, you know it'll take the pallet if I drop the whole pallet in there. Oh, it is doing it. Well, that's pretty cool. I wonder how that looks inside. It just covered up the seed. So that may have replaced the seed. Not too sure about that, but you're not going to want to do that anyway. You take one or the other, obviously. It's just more for the demo. Okay, so we tested him out. So these are a little trickier. Because they can roll on you. Like I said, he even said on the website that uh, you may have to practice a little with the round bales and stuff. Anything round is going to want to roll back, right? Especially if it was on that white side of the bale, it's just going to... Even with the function where it, you can buy it without uh, the rolling on, it still kind of does it a little bit. So just be careful. Oh no! Look how much that's just hanging there. Oh, that was close. There we go. Oh, look at you. You bounced right out. Look on it. That thing looks dangerous. You're running across, chasing people with that. It's scary. Come on, you. Yeah, I can see why he said that. 
just got to be so perfectly lined up or it's... I don't want to stab it. I just want you to get on there. Yeah, it's going to do the roll thing, isn't it? Come on. Come on. You're right there. There you go. Go, go, go. <laughs> if it would just sit like that, it would be perfect. It's just like... Oh, come on. Stop flipping around. Man, it just does not want to stay, does it? Well, guys, I don't want to... Okay, okay. No, no. <laughs> Come on, you. Yeah, not the best on the round bales, that's for sure. You'd have to have perfect alignment to get that on there. I think I'm just going to have to abort this part. You guys will probably figure it out a lot more easier than I did. Okay, so now we will try this conveyor here. Start it up. Get the B key. Yeah, that's so funny that you can get inside that conveyor. It's like, where's the farmer at? In that little box on the bottom? That would be an awful day's work if you had to cram yourself in there. Okay, let's try this. Hopefully this will work a little bit more smoothly. And it may be better to approach it from the side, but you can see what I mean. Like, it's such a tight fit on there. The JCB that is. There we go. Look, and it's going to miss it. Ah, oh, fast, fast, fast. No. I'm going to get in that. so close yeah I gave it a little nudge there let's try one more let's see if we can get one more in there so I seen with some of the pictures on the uh, website right down that loaded this the uh, they were using it for the manure pits and stuff I can see how it can be very handy I mean, obviously, you're not going to put bales in a, uh, oh no, I don't want to, in a tipper. Probably going to use an auto load trailer or uh, something along those lines. Okay, let's see if we can have a little bit better luck with this. Can you extend the boom on this? No, you can't. Okay, get in there. Work with me here, work with me. bite on that, and there we go. Now are you going to go in? Wait and see. So it does work. It just takes a little bit of practice, guys, to get that uh, that lined up there. Especially with the round stuff. Let's do one more. Heck with it. Yeah, it seems to be a little easier if you approach it from the side. You just got to watch you don't run into the conveyor itself. Or you're going to knock it out of alignment. I did a few times. Okay, one more. Bill seemed to be a little easier. The pallets were the easiest. It's like the ones where the grain comes out, and the logs weren't too bad, but I was putting them on by hand too, so. Okay, I'll get a little closer here. I mean, once you get it in there, you can just basically pull back and use the side of the cage to un... But you got to watch you don't pull the uh, conveyor out of alignment. Oh, look at that. So close, but yet so far. There we go. But a great idea. I mean, this will move pallets of uh, boards or lumber. Whatever you want to put on it. All those things that I was showing you over at the shop. So there you have it, guys. That was the bale and wood conveyor belt version 1.0. The file size is 4 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel 
it would really, really help out. So, until next time, take care, and we'll see you all in the next one.